the cells were used between 1747 and 1983. 200 years of guess. In 1815, for not reasons entirely clear, the, the police buried body parts they found around the city, buried a foot, an arm, etc., in the cells, only to realise they were much. They were needed for evidence. The accused and so dug them up. There's much to focus on, not at least the various graffiti messages left to be reserved for us and other guests.
guests here included the Protestant martyr Thomas Bilney, 1531, ahead of his burning, and also Robert Kett, 1549, of the Enclosure Rebellion, and ahead of this, and his brother's public hanging, who was hung from Norwich Castle, of course. His brother was hung from Windham Abbey. And uh, about 49 of the other rebels, they were kept here for a short period of time, and then they were taken out of here, and then they were hanged at the Market Cross. I just find that incredible to think that they were in this mm. room. I'm sure they would have been shackled as well, the sackcloth or something that they had been given. Just left to contemplate their fate. This door was created by cowboy architect John Moore. It ensured showed no chance of escape, no natural light, no air, and suggests the space was in use from the 1400s onwards. Graffiti here includes a ship, a symbol of life's voyage and heart. But also, you see, that would have been done by candlelight or even in the dark.